வெல்கம் டு ஆல் ஐ திங்க் பார்ட் டூ லெக்சர் நம்பர் டுவெண்ட் தேர்ட்டி நைன் ஐ திங்க் மோஸ்ட் போலி சி த டைட்டில் மேக் எ நோட் டுடே லாஸ்ட் டைம் வி கம்ப்ளீட்டட் கொஸ்டின் நம்பர் டுவெண்ட்டி டுவெண்ட்டி டுடே இஸ் டுவெண்ட்டி ஒன் டுவெண்ட்டி டூ எக்ஸெட்ரா வி கம்ப்ளீட்டட் பாயிண்ட் லோட் அண்ட் யூடிஎல் ஆல் த கேசஸ் பட் ரிமெம்பர் ஓன்லி ஒன் லோட் மல்டிபிள் லோட் வில் டேக் செகண்ட் ரவுண்ட் நவ் you can make a small heading now we are considering vertical reactions for simply supported beam for uniformly varying load represented by a triangle there are three cases are there represented by a right angle triangle or isosceles triangle or triangle in general today i will consider represented by right angle triangle actually to be frank with you what happened is i already finished recording just earlier i solved 21 22 23 24 four for right, uh, represented by right angle triangle even that isosceles triangle also i completed later i was heartbroken when i saw the recording i forgot to pin the microphone recording was very very what is feeble it is not audible because without the mic recording is not correct so now now i am not in a mood to complete once again all that one so what i will do is represented by a triangle right angle triangle i will complete today see i am always a person with free talking i never believe in what you call style like now see a beam i never talk that way i talk in the class as if the way or as if i am talking with you you are in front of me freely like a relative or a friend throughout my teaching i am doing same thing some people actually told me you should uh, be a little serious why serious this is learning you should be friendly with the people students then they enjoy in my classroom they are, they enjoy or like me for this reason only free talking and lot of jokes will be there so and i don't believe in styles all i never do it see education is important where knowledge counts not the way you talk see the beam now what is that all i don't like i don't require it let people do it okay okay question 21 one question i will explain fully here then remaining identical question to save the time i will change the question and explain to you a simply uh, question i am dictating a simply supported beam is of span l beam with given loading it is loaded by an uniformly varying load with intensity zero at left end and maximum of w per unit length at the right end remember this is intensity i told you some people they write w kilo newton per meter no in the book work question where wl is there writing w in kilo newton per meter span in meter i consider it nonsense or immaturity on their part if they are feeling hurt let them realize now why why should be in kilo newton per meter it can be anything it can be micro <laughs> newton per kilometer why not see there is nothing when you buy gold you tell in grams when you buy items in the house houses for daily items you usually refer kilograms when you buy steel or mega quantity you mention tons so you tell let w be the weight why w kilo newton okay leave it now this is the reaction usual statement from question number 1 i am writing i won't explain okay now before i start actually not required make a note in case of uniformly varying load it can be like this or it can be like this anything no problem right now make a note if this is w per unit length i am not writing fully per unit length if the length is l see this l is here loaded length loaded length l then magnitude of the total load see hand moving this way arrow mark had shows light line this i am removing now 
magnitude of the total load is given by area of the triangle told thousands of time and line of action will be through centroid this side see this is magnitude of total load here see this side magnitude of total load when you write this one your hand should move total load equal to area of the triangle half into l into w half into l into w is the magnitude and line of action from here will be 2 by 3 of l from here 1 by 3 of l here from this side 1 by 3 of l from that side 2 2 by 3 of l make this note when you want to total load area where passes through centroid of the diagram representing the load this is a right angle triangle therefore centroid will be at 1/3 or 2/3 from the ends depending upon where minimum where maximum write this one okay now this arc this is told so many so many times earlier in the type of loads okay start now take moment about a see reaction not written here vb va okay minus vb into l plus c there now light line pencil mark here pencil light line this is the magnitude of the total load you can write here magnitude of total load equal to half into l into w see magnitude of total load into from a to this one this distance is 2 thirds of l distance of line of action of that total load from a next time i am not explaining equal to 0 wl into l wl square 2 2 will cancel wl square by 3 divided by l wl by 3 will be the answer reaction see you will get more reaction here sigma v0 upward positive plus va plus vb minus total load now only total load no into va plus substitute vb wl by 3 when you take that side it will become wl by 2 minus wl by 3 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 is plus 1 by 6 you will get wl by 6 so reactions are wl by 6 wl by 3 is the answer now or direct answer directly go to part 2 lecture number 36 some will tell how sir you by hearted because this i wrote from beginning i am writing i remember see what you do none of this required what uh, i forgot to write ab here see ab directly put a sketch nothing required now refer this diagram we want this reaction we want this reaction this is va we want this is vb we want see nothing required there centroid here right this is the magnitude of the total load we write here magnitude of total load equal to area of the triangle half into l into w okay then from here the distance from here to here will be 2 by 3 of l from here 1 by 3 of l then it, see w you can see there now directly va equal to load half into l into w into other distance 1 by 3 of l divided by l 3 into 2 is 6 l square by l wl by 6 this reaction total load i'll write here some space problem vb but total load half into l into w is the total load into if you want this reaction 
See, AB I not written. Okay. Other distance is two thirds of L. Two thirds of L divided by L. Two two will cancel. This will come W L by three. Answer got. Over. Now, remaining three questions now. Same as this question. One numerical and then load this way. I will go there, pause, write everything, come back and explain to save the time. Because I told you, second round, round I am recording. Now, if somebody will ask me a question, simply support beam, okay, left side 0, right side maximum, intensity how much? W per unit length. You will tell W kilometer, don't tell kilometer per meter. Oh, sorry, W per unit length, good. Span is L, okay. Reaction, I will tell directly. Left side, WL by 6, right side, WL by 3. He will tell, oh, you by hearted, not by hearted. Then, used principle. What is the principle? Total load, half into L into W, WL by 2. See, reaction comes in terms of WL. So, I will keep WL, half. Half into some, number is half. Okay, done. Into the, everywhere into WL. Okay, half. Then further, then how you got 1 by 6, etc. No, or I will tell, see if UDL is there, W into L is the load. This is triangle. See if I put one more triangle here, becomes UDL. This is half the load. So 1 by 2 of UDL. Okay, okay, done. Then see, line of action, this is zero intensity. From here to the line of action is 2 by 3. That side is 1 by 3. Where intensity is more, 1 by 3. So this is 2 by 3, that is 1 by 3. So, distances of centroid is in the ratio of 2 is to 1. Okay. 2 by 3 will cancel. 2 is to 1. Reaction ratio is 1 is to 2. If reaction is 1 is to 2, one of them is 1 by 3, other is 2 by 3. 1 by 3 of half is 1 by 6. And 2 by 3 of half is 2 by 1 by 3. I think he will tell. Okay. You only keep it. I don't want it. I will tell. Understand the principle, you also will start loving it. Okay. Question number 22. First of all, there is nothing here. Some in the class, if I am taking, students will tell, sir, no, sir, if I write that much on the board and go for a break, if I come back, they will tell, sir, we finished it. Okay. Still, this is not that way. I want systematic coverage. Each and everything I am giving important. That's how you will learn. Start. A simply support beam of span 8 meter is loaded by uniformly varying load of intensity 0 at left end and maximum of 30 kilowatton per meter at the right end. Find the reactions. Okay. Usual statement. Take moment about A. Minus BB into 8 plus half into 8 into 30, I told last time, magnitude of total load into 2 by 3 of 8, distance of line of action of that total load from A equal to 0, simplify, VB will come, 80 kilonewton, sigma V0, plus VA, plus VB, minus this total load equal to 0, substitute VB equal to 80 kilonewton, VA will come, 40 kilonewton is the answer. Or, Part 2, lecture 36. Total load, half into 8 into 30. This reaction, half into 8 into the total load into other distance by span. This reaction, total load into other distance by span. Check the answer. Okay, now we will change over to next question. Question number 21, 22, 23. I will be careful. 23. Dictated. A simply supported beam of span L is loaded by uniformly varying load of intensity 0 at right end and maximum of W per unit length at the left end. Find support reactions. This all same. The only change is, see, last time it was this way. Resultant uh, line of action was here. Now it is this side. So see, last time, actually first of all, 
this question you should solve. When this way is there, this is 2 by 3, this is 1 by 3. Now, this is 1 by 3, this is 2 by 3. Start. Minus Vb into L plus same statement. Now, this all I told you, what is the meaning of this one? First time I, in question number 21 I told, if you want write once again, into total load into one third of L equal to 0, Vb will come WL by 6. What you got last time Va, that came Vb now. Sigma V0, Va plus Vb minus the total load equal to 0, substitute Vb equal to WL by 6, Va will come WL by 3. See, this one. Last time, this came WL by 6, that is WL by 3. Why? Because last time, see, in the previous question, WL by 6, okay, okay. The loading was this way. At that time, higher load here. So, higher reaction. This is 1 by 3. This is 2 by 3. This time, load is more this side. This is WL by 3. That is WL by 6. One student asked me, Sir, higher load, sir, but lesser number. I told, use mathematics. It is not a multiplying number. It is a dividing number. Oh, sorry, sir. Dividing number. Divide by lesser number. Value will come more. Okay, now. Or directly, see, total load I wrote, one third, two thirds, this reaction, total load, half LW, if you want this reaction, into other two thirds L by L, if you want this reaction, one third L by L, he extend 100 times so far, work out and check the answer. Now, last question, 24, I will do it here only, 24. A simply supported beam of span 10 meter, is loaded by an uniformly varying load which has intensity of 0 at right end and maximum of something 24 kilonewton per meter at left end. I am avoiding the fraction over. Find reaction. Okay, now all the statement you write this is 24 kilonewton per meter that is 0 span is 10 meter. Take moment about A minus Vb into 10, 10 plus half into 10 into 24 is the total load into from here to this load distance is, for the line of action is 1 third of 10 equal to 0. This will give you Vb, 24 and 10 is 240. 240 by 2 is 120. 120 means now Ratio 120 half is 1 is to 3, 3 is now 40. Vb equal to plus 40 kilonewton. See, I have not done any by hurting. Sigma V0 upward positive Va plus Vb minus half into half into 10 into 24, 24 equal to 0. Substitute Va, Vb equal to plus 40 kilonewton. You will get VA, VA plus, plus 40 minus 24 and 10 is 240. 240 by 2 is 120. Minus 120 equal to 0. VA will come plus 80 kilonewton. It will come plus 80 kilonewton. Therefore, if a simply supported beam has a span of 10 meter and if the intense UVL is acting like this, 0 there and maximum here of 24 kilonewton per meter, then the reaction at left support is 80 kilonewton. At right support is 40 kilonewton. 40 kilonewton. Or directly, see, this is one third of 10. That is two thirds of 10. Total load is half into 10 into 80 kilonewton. Now, your reaction Va equal to total load half into 10 into 80 into other distance 2 by 3 of 10 divided by 10. If you want, I will calculate. Actually, not required. It will come 80 kilometer. Half into 10 into 80. How much? Half in 10 into, not 80, sorry, sorry. Half in 10 into 24. See, where I am seeing? 
20, intensity is 24 there. See, 24. Otherwise, wrong answer will come. 24. Okay, now correct. Half into 10 into 24 into 2 by 3 of 10 divided by 10 is 80 kilonewton. Why waste time? I don't know why I calculated first of all. As if I have no confidence in myself only. 80 <laughs> reaction VA. Some of my students will start wondering, Sir, you are checking your own answer. No, no, for your sake. Total load. Half into 10 into 24 into this side distance is 1 third of 10 divided by 10 equal to 40 kilonewton. Oh, red color, okay. 40 kilonewton. That is what you got there. 40 kilonewton. Okay, now I am curtailing the class because I told the reason. But before that, question number 24 over, two special questions are there. This I will give the question today and expect you to solve. If you got difficulty, I will solve it next time. Anyway, anyway I am solving next time. Some hint I will give. But you try yourself. Those who are seeing later stages, you don't go to the next class. You solve this question, then go to the next class. See how much is your capacity and understanding. Two questions or both things. There is no numbering here. No numbering. Two special questions, two extra questions for you. Extra questions for you. One of them is, one of them is a simply supported beam of span L is loaded by uniformly varying load of intensity 0 at left end and maximum at right end. That's all. They told 0 at left end and maximum at right end. Or a sketch given. And in the question given, the total load being, they are telling total load. The total load is called capital P or W, capital W. So question is, a simply support beam of span L is loaded by uniformly varying load which has intensity of 0 at left end and maximum at right end linearly increasing and the total load on the beam is P. Find reaction. Try it. This reaction will come. Answer. I am giving answer for you. Answer. This will come P by 3. This will come 2 by 3 P. Some will tell, sir, what about L? I told the answer. Solve. Next time. Other, this is one, one of them. And other question for you, no numbering. Next time I will go for question number. Today 21, 22, 24, 25. I will make a note here. 25 next time. Okay. Other question is, same way reverse. Simply support beam of span. I will give a span for you. Of span, say anything. I will give a 5 meter span. 5 meter span is loaded by uniformly varying load of intensity 0 at left end and maximum at the right end and in given total load load is uh, 20 kilonewton that's all 20 kilonewton total load find reactions okay i will solve next time this i am giving answer for you answer this reaction this reaction next time i will tell you uh, this is uh, one of them other one or I'll do one thing. Let it be question number 20, 21, 20, 25. So next class is 26. 26, okay, 26. And this is question 26, 25 A. And this is question 25 B. So that next time I will tell you, previous class two questions given, I am solving now or I will explain to you, then you get the answer. Answer here. 20, yeah. 13, uh, Ali, Ali. 13 point three 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 kilonewton here. Other one is 6.667 kilonewton. Try the question. Okay. Now, next time I will solve this. I will give little more idea. I will tell what to do if they give total load. I will explain for both UDL and UVL. It will take some 15-20 minutes. 
then I will complete this question and then I will complete uniformly varying route represented by an isosceles triangle. But general triangle, see two cases are there. See, one of them is this way, other is this way. This takes more time. That I will do in the other class. At a time, because it will take, these two itself will take more than 40 minutes. Then I will go for uniformly varying load represented by a trapezium. Then I will go for couples. Then, a combination of loads. Once that is over, I will change over to overhanging beams, then cantilever beams, and everything will be completed. So, study thoroughly each and every question. Thank you. We will meet next time.